In this video, I'm going to show you how you could fade two images together in Photoshop to create this effect. So I have two images here that I want to blend together. This is the first one and this is the second one. And I need to bring both of them into the same Photoshop file. So to do that, I'm going to go to my second image. I'm just going to grab it here from the layer and I'm going to drag it onto this and let go. And now I could resize it so they both have the same shape and size. I'm just going to grab and stretch. If you don't have those guys, you could just press Command T and it's going to give you those guys. And if you hold Shift, it's going to keep it in the same aspect ratio and it's not going to let you free transform like this. But in this case, it's easy to make it the same size. And I'll just press check mark, press OK. Now I have two of them and my background is locked. So I'm going to double click and unlock that background layer. So now I have layer one and layer two underneath on top of each other like this. So I'm going to select one of my layers, my top layer, and I'm going to create a layer mask down here. If I click this, I get a layer mask and this is my layer mask on top of my top layer. Next, I want to pick the gradient tool. This is the gradient tool. Keyboard shortcut is G. I'm going to select it and I want it to be black and white. So up here, I want black and I want white and this is the default setting. So make sure you pick the default setting. Now, if I click from the left all the way to the right here and let go, it creates that gradient for me. You see, it's just blending one to the next. Let me undo that command Z. Let me do it from top and bottom now. Now that's more of an effect I'm looking for. I want something a lot more pronounced than this. This is too subtle. So I'm going to command Z. So to change that, we just want to change the effect of the gradient. So I just click the gradient tool. This is the gradient I want. And right now it's very subtle. So I could change that by grabbing this and making most of it black and just a little bit of white. Let's see what that does. Now, if I go from top to the bottom, now it's too much. I barely see the water. So I could undo that and come from top to somewhere in the middle here. And that's a lot more of the effect I'm looking for. I'm going to command Z again. Let me just make the gradient even less. Now you see the difference between the black and the white is less. I'll bring this over. Let's see what that does. Press OK. Now the effect is a lot more interesting is not as transparent. Let me undo that and bring it down even more. I'll bring it to here. Let me bring it down all the way here. Now it's taking away the sun. I want to see a little bit of the sun, so I'll let go somewhere over here. Now you could experiment with your picture. Let me go from left to right, for example. Let me go further. So you could see the type of different things you could do. You could really go at any angle and get a different effect any which way you go. So, But this is the effect I was going for. So again, you could go up here and make it more or less gradual and play around with the gradient to get a different fade effect. I hope this video helped you. Please give it a like and subscribe to this channel for a lot more Photoshop and tech tutorials. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.